everyone. In this video, we will create hospital management database in MS Access in which you can maintain the patient record, doctor record, total earnings. You can create a simple form in which you can enter the data related to the appointments. Uh, let's see, I have created one form in which the appointment number will generate automatic. You can enter date, you can enter your patient name then doctor you can enter related details then problems and you can enter the fees once you leave it will automatic create this prescription and you can take the printout you can also see the report of earnings date wise appointment wise and you can also maintain the patient record over here you can create the tables of patients so you will have all the related data in one database system let us begin open ms access click on blank enter the name change the path if you want then click on create button close this and now come to the create click on table design first we create patient table so enter create patient id we want to enter their mobile number as a id select the data type short text and in caption type mobile select the patient id field click on primary key press ctrl s to save this table give the name starting with t so we can easily identify that this object is table now click on ok button to save this now create other fields like name then address city you can create state country code pin code whatever you want i am creating only address and city now enter blood group if you want then age then gender here i want to give the option to the user they can select male or female for this you have to click over here select lookup wizard select second option click on next and type male then female similarly you can create the options for blood group next click on finish control s to save this one and you can close now again come to create this time we are gonna create table for de departments so department id first then department name select department id come to design tab select primary key press ctrl s to save this one type department beginning of the table type t so we can identify that this is a table object then close this one come to create tab come to table design and then doctor id now we are gonna create a table for doctors come to create tab click on table design enter doctor id it would be automatic to select automatic numbers and then doctor name and department id here we will select lookup wizard to get the data from department table this time we will select the first option click on next select the table t department click on next select this option click on next select the field you want to see the items you want to short order for item so this time i'm gonna select department name click on next button 
untick this hide column click on next and we have to save this record in the department id click on next and finish click on yes give the name t doctor click on next button we have not defined any primary key so we have to define one so click on cancel select the doctor id click on primary now press control s to save and we have to save this one you can close this now we will create appointment table come to create tab select table design enter the id appointment number so this would be auto number system will generate a new number whenever new record will save select this field once again click on primary key then appointment date appointment date select date and time this time and you can change the caption for all fields by default if we will not mention the caption over here it will take the field name at the time of creating any report or form that i will show later in this video you have to save this one t appoint met now we will assign the patient to this appointment so from here we have to select lookup wizard select the first option because we want to retrieve the data from patient table so i will select first option click on next select the patient table click on next select id and name click on next we will short by id click on next and then we want to display the mobile number and the patient name when the user will enter that i'll show you that i will show you in the later in this video select the patient id click on next click on finish and we have to save this one so after assigning the patient we have to enter bp that will come in numbers so we can select number or short key we can decrease this field size to 5 only and next is problem whatever the problem we can enter and finally fees this time we will select the field type is currency and decimal place would be 0 and default value we can assign any default value like 200 and then we have to assign the doctor so type doctor id press enter select lookup wizard select first option click on next this time select table doctor click on next select id then name click on next we want to short this by name click on next and this time we don't want to see the id we want to see the name only so enable this option then click on next next and we have to save this one if we want some other information we can add or remove according to our choice so control s once again to save this one and now close now we have to create the forms so that we can enter data first of all we will select the table then come to create tab there are many options by which we can create the forms like form then form wizard so we will select this option just click over here it will create the form automatically this will also display one table below which you can remove if you want but whenever you want to see how many appointments he has taken in future 
so we can see the record over here in this form so I think it's a good option so we can click on control s to save this but this time we have to change f instead of t now system can identify that this object is form so all information is coming over here now click on view and now we can enter the data let's say the mobile number so one two three four five six seven eight nine zero so 10 digit mobile number and the patient name we can enter related details so now we can see we have given the option for selecting the gender from the options we have assigned in assigned during the creation of table so we can select male or female so this time I'm gonna select male and then we have to press tab or press enter to save the record so we have created one patient record so I'm creating one more record quickly so after entering all the data click over here or click over here to save this one and we can close this one if you want to make some changes over the headings so you have to click on this option from the home tab come to the design tab and here you can change the record patient form something like that patient form you can also add some buttons to maintain the records so you have to move this field so we have enough area to enter the buttons so this time I'm gonna select button option from the design tab this is the button option just click over here and click somewhere where you want to design this option so we will get command button wizard so we can create the buttons for records so these are the records available but I want to use the operators for adding the new one so I will select this time so I will select add new record click next select this option click on next and give some name like CMD new click on finish and one more button to close this form so this time we will select form operations close this form next next cmd close click on finish button so we have two options so we have two buttons one for creating a new record second for exit this form now control s now press control s to save this and come to this option and click view and now we can see two buttons you can adjust the place and now if I click over here all fields will be available for entering a new data and we can move the records from here all records will come automatically once we have some appointments that can be seen here so now I'm going to close this one so just click over here to save this one and this time I'm gonna enter some department so select this one come to the create tab click over here and then control s to save this change the t to f click ok to save this one for entering the data select this option and enter the department id that comes automatically no we have to enter manually i think we have selected the short so neuro general physician so you can create the departments now you can close and you can add the button over here but if you don't want you want you can close this by clicking on this button now we will create the form for doctors select the table come to the create and click on this button once again and now control s to save this record and click over here to entering the master data of doctors so doctor one 
we can select the department from here and we will we can see later on all appointments related data of this particular doctor so now we can save this record by clicking over here or we can create one button so i'm gonna add one button so record operation to save this record next next and save control s we can adjust the area and we can adjust the place as well so now click over here to save and similarly we can use this option to enter the new data so doctor 2 department is neurology sorry John neurology click over here to save this record and if you want to create a new record then click over here so we have two doctors record and the patient now it is time to create the form for appointments now close this one and select this option then create this option and select this option and control s to save this one change the name click on ok to save this one and now we have to enter the data click over here appointment number come automatically and we can assign the default value to this form so you can close this one come to appointment table right click design view select the appointment date and here you have to enter now function control s to save this one and close and again if you open the appointment form we can see the date and time is also coming so we can further change the format if you want come to the design tab select this field click on the property sheet from the design tab and from here you can change the format something like that and now you have to press ctrl s to save this one click over here so we can see by default present date will come in which we are going to enter the data now press enter enter and click over here to select your patient you can search by their name or by mobile number so i'm gonna select patient number one we can enter the related details such as what is the bp right now we can enter the related problem fever by default 200 the fees which we assigned during the creation of a table come automatically you can also change this in the form itself so you have to save first then come to the design tab select the field and here we have default value option so on the all tab on the downside we have option default value so you can enter any value that comes automatically if it is not assigned here the data come from the table if default value not assigned in the table then it will be blank so but that way we can use it and now we have to assign the doctor so doctor one will come automatically and press tab or press enter to save this record so first appointment has been created now it is time to create some query and the report what we want whenever we save any appointment record automatically prescription must be generated so that we can take the print out so before that we have to close this one and go to create select the query design and double click on appointment department doctor patients close we want data from all tables so we will select this one now we have to save this press ctrl s to save and we have to enter like q appointment press enter to save 
and now first select the fields which we want so first i want appointment number appointment date we want patient id patient name as well so the name will come automatically from here i want address city blood group age and gender then i want information from the table of doctor so i will select doctor name only and i want department as well then i want uh, bp problem and fees so department id is not connected so we can connect like this so we can save and uh, now close this one double click to see the record so we have record appointment date appointment number everything is coming so just close this one and click on yes now we will create the report click on create tab and uh, we will create a blank report just double click over here and now first we have to add the logo click on the logo option which is available on the design tab click on logo select select your logo and then click on click on title you can enter your hospital name and you have to save this r r press enter to save this one and you can change the view to design move this field so now we can enter some header part so on the header first we want to enter one horizontal line now first we have to add the record select this from here and click on property sheet come to the data and select the record source and select q appointment and then click on the add existing fields so now we have to add appointment number and come to arrange select stacks and now add the appointment date select this field from the mouse and place this field downside of the appointment number and release the mouse that and then select both the fields again come to the arrange tab and this time come to the control padding select none and come to the home tab sorry come to the design tab select the property come to the format and border style select transparent because we don't want to display any border click on print preview button you can add this in the quick access toolbar if you cannot see in your system click on this little arrow select the print preview then click on this button click on ok so appointment date is not coming as per our requirement because the date includes the time as well so we can change the format select this field select the property come to the format and from first field we can change the format to this and now see whether we want yeah we can see and we can adjust the width we are not getting any error so now copy this and paste and move this horizontal line once again and make some more space control s to save then add some more fields this time i'm gonna add the data related to the doctor so select the doctor name and come to the arrange 
click on stack and then department and then fees and again select all the data come to the arrange tab click on control padding click on none then come to the design tab select property and remove the background or change the style to transparent you can increase the width if you want if it is not proper so you can move this field as per your requirement anywhere in the form Con press ctrl s to save once again you can see the data so everything is coming perfectly now close this one and this time we have to add the data related to the patient so again click on add existing fields and this time we will select patient name first no uh, i think we need to select patient id first only because we want to display the mobile number first and then click on arrange stacks and then move the related data address city blood group age gender and you can create a different you can create a separate table for bp problems but i am adding this data here only and this is the problem and then again select this one go to arrange and go to control padding select none once again and come to the format and then sorry design property sheet format and select the border style to transparent save this one you can increase the width of the field if you want the place of this table as per your requirement so you can do the formatting so i will move this doctor data here i think you can spend some more time for formatting and then you can remove this extra space from here now copy paste the horizontal line and move from top to down side and now press control s to save this one and now you can see the print preview so we are getting our prescription so now it is time to attach this report with our form so that whenever someone save the new record it should print automatically so now open the appointment form right click select design view and select this one click over here to select this form click on select the property select on event and then you have to select after update option then click over here select the macro builder click on ok button now select this option and type open report select the report view must be print preview and then save and then close and then make some extra space now add the button now add the button come to the design tab select the button click over here and uh, select the report operation select print preview click next select the report you want to open next next you can give the name if you want then save it and you can add some more button for adding new appointment 
print preview or you can move the record so whatever you want to see you can add the buttons i have given the i have already explained how to add the buttons with the proper action so now it is time to create a new record so i'm adding a new record by clicking over here so we can see appointment number comes automatically then appointment date comes automatically so we can select patient name from here so this time also i am going to select patient one because i want to show you the record in the form of patient all this appointment record so enter the bp um, like bp is uh, 140 this time problem is cuff and fees we are going to charge 500 and doctor would be general physician so doctor one only so now when i press enter or tab we can see this report opens automatically and all data is coming so we can take the print by clicking over here then we can take the print out or we can close this and if you want to take the print out of the previous appointment so you can move the record from here and click on this button that particular appointment will open no it is not coming so we have to do one more configuration in the query itself so now select the query click on design view and on the appointment number select the criteria or type forms select the forms sorry forms then exclamation sign and then select the form to appointment again exclamation sign and this time select the appointment number and press enter control s to save control w to close this one this these are the shortcut keys and then again click on f appointment and now you can see appointment number one i'm moving to appointment number two and once you click over here now we can see appointment number two is coming before we have not assigned the appointment number so query was not working so now we can add the record so now if we you now if you open the patient so we can see the record is coming over here so whatever the appointment patient one has taken from our hospital all are coming automatically here and if you close this one and save this and if you open the doctor form so you have you can see their appointments are coming automatically you can close this one and you can create new query as well you can copy and paste this query and appointment doctor okay and select this one right click select design view and you can remove some fields because we have taken all the fields in this query so i will i will remove these i will change the doctor department pp problem i want to see the fields only and i will remove this criteria as well press enter control s to save and run this one so here we can see doctor wise appointments and their income we can further filter from here doctor wise filter department wise filter so we can see all the data in this query we can export this simply go to the external data tab and click on excel it will export the complete data of this query to the excel so you can do the analysis as per your requirement so this is the way you can create this hospital management 
database in access hopefully this will help you a lot if you have any query related to this project let me know i will give my answer as soon as possible thank you for watching my video please come back again